Hi friends, welcome to our channel, the Snooky Serna channel. Alam nyo ngayong araw na ito guys, I'm happy really, sincerely, na nakasama ko siya uli after a long time. He is my very special guest for today. He's 80s hottest male star. He was considered as the decade's golden boy of Philippine cinema. He is also considered a showbiz royalty. He's my friend, my brother, my Mr. Donald Summer. Wow. We Lloyd Summer. <laughs> wow. Hi. Hello, hello. hello. Good day to you, my old friend. How are my you? My dear friend. Cas? I'm good. Baka nagtataka sila. Cas po ang tawag namin ni Lloyd si Sitsa. Kasi our parents have known each other since mga dalag at binata pa sila. Right. So we've known each other since way, way mm. back. Do you smell the yummy aroma of the food in the kitchen? Care of I know our this. venue. Ark and Vine Cafe, this is a safe haven amidst the hustle and bustle of Makati. It's located at the ground floor of Graceland Place, Sapota Street Corner, Ponte Street, Makati City. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Angela Samora and Chef Janina Samora. Masarap ng food, thank you very much po. Ginagawa mo ang napaka-sikat ngayong teleseryeng Lilet Matias. Yes. Um, How does it feel being a part of that? I, I was very fortunate to be part of Lilet Matias because uh, our our main star, Lilet Matias, is Joe Berry, mm -hmm. who is a uh, a little person, as you know. But para sa akin, I'm glad na dapat we should have more soaps, people like her, uh, because. There is a there is a lot of stories mm -hmm. that can be told. When you first started in showbiz, you became an overnight sensation. How did that make you feel? I got in showbiz actually quite reluctantly. And truth be told, I just wanted a bigger allowance. <laughs> <laughs> when I when I you know, and I remember I used to watch because my mom was doing Carmen on camera or and then Across the ano, apat na sikat was on the other station. Mm -mm. And I would watch them and I'm going, I can do that. Mm -hmm. I can do those things. Sabi kong ganoon, kaya lang. Siyempre, alam mo naman our industry, timing-timing yan. So, um, I would be asked to do guest things with my mom in in uh, Jokerino and all those shows, di ba? And then when an opportunity came uh, after high school, they were... When my mom was with Eddie Rodriguez during that time, um, they were they were putting together a movie called Gaboon. It's about a man with two families, you know, and Mario J was directing it. And this was Mario J's second movie after High School Circa, which became a big hit big also. Hit. Correct. So they asked me, you know, and I said, sure, you know, why not? That established me. And then after that, my next movie was Ani Batumbakal with Nora Honor which became an even bigger, bigger hit. hit. So, tuloy, tuloy na ako. How young were you when you entered the business? Is I it was okay to 17 ask? or 17. 18. Oh, I did not, I was not a child star. Mm -hmm. In 1980, huh, alone, you did 10 films. How did you manage? Oh, what Paano are you talking about? Yun? Ikaw, John, you probably Hindi, did Hindi, Lloyd. 25 films. Lloyd, ikaw. <laughs> <laughs> Basta ang naalala ko lang, I would start a new movie, be in the middle of two movies, oh and end a film. Oh my God. So, yun, yeah. naglalagari ka talaga ng ganun. And, and this was the way it was, it was during our time. Then. I don't know how I made it, but I did. And I was fortunate to work with many good directors. Mario. Of course, Mario J, Ishmael. I did, we did Lino, that mm -hmm. one film. Lahat na ng magagaling na katrabaho mo. Did you... Ever at one point feel na parang oh I'm I'm you know I'm I'm, I'm the it I'm guy. God's gift to mankind. I'm God's gift to mankind. Because <laughs> the the funny thing about fame and you know this, there is no guidebook. No. It just happens to you. Correct. You're the same person, but situation changes mm -hmm. around you. Right. People treat you differently, mm -hmm. and and you're trying to catch up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tapos, everybody has an opinion. You shouldn't be seen any place. You should behave. You shouldn't be. Correct. And dami mong, ang daming, ano sa'yo, ang daming uh, advice. Demands. Ako naman, ang personality ko, pag na-overwhelm ako, I, I back away a bit. So I can breathe. Diba? 
But even that is not a good sign kasi ang feeling nila, wow, you're so mayabang naman. Ayaw mo, you know, in-interview ko ng ganito, ayaw mo. I need to ground Space myself muna. Ground. I, this is all new to me. You try to manage as best as you can. You are the son of Carmen Soriano, one of the biggest stars ng ating industriya. Well, in the singing side. Yeah, but you know, I mean, di ba, that's they were the, they were the queens of the strip during that but time. But did you feel overwhelmed at some point in time? I mean, you grow you grow up with your parents and mm -hmm. you get used to their stature. Mm -hmm. I learned to accept and live within the parameters of her stardom. Sabi nga sa kanya nakakatawa, you know, when I was in high school, my mom would uh, would have shows in Eduardo's mm -hmm. in the strip, di ba, dati. And ang gagawin niyan, before she steps out of the house at about 9 o'clock, kasi the show is 9.45, mm -hmm. she'd be in this gown, you know, fully beaded and everything, and with a cape, sasakay yun sa car. But before that, she'll check in my room if I'm asleep. Mm -hmm. I'm, ne I'm never asleep, but she, you know, it's a school day, so I have to yeah. be asleep. Tapos makikita ko, pag bukas nyo ng pinto, all these sparkles in the room. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, nakagaon siya na, mm -hmm. ano. And I'd be so scared. Kasi oh. alam ko, pagagalitan ako pag, uh -huh. if I'm awake, eh, you know. <laughs> so, sabi ko sa kanya, many years later, sabi ko, you know, mom, what magagalit. I used to... I used to look at you like you're Darth Vader. <laughs> Wala lang yun. <laughs> Wala lang yun, you know? Kasi pagbukas niya ng pintong gano'n, no? tapos papasok yung kolo, yung pagpapagol niya, di ba? Eh, nakagano'n ako dun sa kwarto. Tagang, tagang. Lord! So, hintayin ko na yung sasakyan. Mandar na. Then, umalis na, you know? Then, I get up again. I go, I run outside and play. Sabi ko, that was how you're, the image I had of you before, mom. Oh. Sabi ko ganun, kasi, you know, larger and than life ka eh. Mm -hmm. Totoo naman During eh. that time. That's true. Pero kamusta ka bilang anak? I was always a good kid kasi I was afraid of going out of my boundaries, you know. And my mom is the type of mom kasi nga, because she is very, you know, she does not have time to to mother mm -mm. me. Yun, isang because she was working. Because she was working mm -hmm. a lot, diba? And she was a single mom. So she was just look at me, you know? Isang tingin lang, I would be. <laughs> Ngayon naman, I'm the parent na. Mm. Diba? So, ganun yan. Well, ano? our parents being our parents, tying the door, speaking from experience, they're so protective, ano? Well, kasi they... And now we, we they thank know them it. for that. You know, lalo na, in show, like showbiz tayo, alam nila eh. My mom really didn't want me to enter the business. Mm -hmm. Kasi sabi ko, I don't, why? I don't understand. Sabi niya, you don't know the heartache mm -hmm. and the heartbreak. Kung minsan, hinire ka na, tapos tinanggal ka. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that? People will talk about you, insult you, degrade you, and you don't even know them. And they don't know you. That's the, that's the world we're in. At the height of the rivalry with Tita Pulita and Tita Carmen, you had a relationship with Jackie. Well... Jackie was 14? No, I was 16. And you were 16? Yeah. Was it affected by the rivalry? You know, the weird thing about that was um, the reason Jackie and I met was because of Ricky Law. Oh. Ricky Law put us on the cover of Express Week. It's precisely because Carmen and Pilita were the dueling queens of the strip. Ricky Law had this bright idea to put Jackie and me together. Mm. I, if I recall, I was flabber you know, oh. I was smitten because that was. Jackie was just absolutely Beautiful. gorgeous during that time. I quietly got her number and I started to call. And to make a long story short, we um, we got together for almost about two years. She was 14, I was 16. We were babies, you know. But anyway, uh, and then after that, uh, I I entered show business. You know, I did the Gabon and Ali B. And so we lost touch already. Kasi si Tita Pelita, 
She was not against you um, for Jackie and vice versa. You know, Tita Pelita naman is cool eh. It was her mother, si Abulita. That was the one that was, ano, you know. And when you want to be together, you find a way. Right. Diba? I want to know, what caused the breakup ba? Was it because of Ate Guy? No. No. It was a, a third party. Let's put it that way. Okay. Not guy. No, not no, no, guy. no, not but at not all. Uh, I was introduced to this pretty young girl. Wala namang nangyayari noon. I just took her to dinner in Manila Hotel and Tita Pilita had a show there. Oh, no. So as I was entering the Manila Hotel, she was coming out and she saw me. Karma is a bitch. It's a bitch. You know? It was this Jackie Kukulich kid. I, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> not, not the other Jackie. Well, but I didn't see Jackie. That, that wasn't Jackie. <laughs> Jackie came after that. But Jackie and I, Kukulich kid, never got together. We were. Oh. I just courted her. And not a lot of people know that you sing very well, that you're a crooner. When my showbiz career started, I like hit the movies. Eh. Mm. Ko. Mm. So, tuloy tuloy na ako doon. Mm. It did not occur to me. I remember my mom was telling me, sabi niya, you, you, ano, you, you sing at the same time. But during that time, I, it did, among the men, you know, it did not occur to me to pagsabihin yung singing and acting. acting. You know, yung, kasi my acting was taking, taking off na eh. So, hindi ko naisip, you know, na I should, ano, I mean, I wish I did. Mm -hmm. Kasi that would have been two sources of income. <laughs> diba? You can move back and forth. The businessman. Diba? In but Lord Summer Team, speak. It did not occur to me at that time. Mm -hmm. So, hindi ko na na-pursue yun. I did, uh, I sang in the soundtrack of Ani Batumbaka. Ah! Uh, I sang oh. one song there, Langit na naman, which was a hot dog song. Guys, would you mind giving us a... No. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. were the one of the most memorable for you, no? a, There's a backstory to that. Ah. And uh, sayang Mario, direct Mario is, is gone. But what happened was... After I did Gaboon, I was interviewed. And I, in my interview, I said, I have a crush on Vilma Santos. <laughs> and I didn't know they were, Mario was pushing to cast me na in Ani Batumba. Oh my. So when Nora heard, eh, eh, direct, eh, crush na mo pala si Vilma, eh, bakit pa natin isasama sa pelikula natin niya. You know, so Mario had to really pacify her, <laughs> which became a, a blessing kasi the movie became a super mm. duper blockbuster during its time. No man. And that Classic. that also catapulted me to leading man status na. Uh, yung golden boy naman na yan. Ay, ang nangyari, who gave you that money? Ang nangyari niyan. When I came in, you know, because my career hit right away, mm -hmm. the the press at the time gave me that title, the, the golden boy of Philippine cinema. I never understood what, what that meant, but it was explained to me many years later na ang gusto pa sabihin pala noon is you know you you brought back the mestizo look kasi for a while ano eh yung it became the Pinoy. the Pinoy the, the good looking Pinoy good looking good looking in 1984 you left the country why did you leave kasi around that time nakikita ko na pumapasok na si si Gabby at si William mm -hmm. and Gabby and I had the same peg Pretty mm. much, diba? I always felt when I joined this industry that I was always a character actor. Kaya lang, because you look a certain way, you're, you're pegged as a matinee idol, mm -hmm. which I didn't mind at the time. But I always felt matinee idols have a shelf life. I kept begging producers to give me more, more character-driven roles. Mm -hmm. I can play Contra Vida, I can... But I'm always being told, no, you have to be the good son, the jilted husband, the this and that. You know, sabi kung ganon, di ba? I mean, we did Strangers in Paradise. That was still towards the last. Ano, what am I there? 
the, this pretty boy knight in shining armor to your to Ala, to Moana. Okay, big guy. Sabi ko, you know, this will stagnate. You know, sabi ko, this, this, this image is fine, but it will go know, stale after. It a will while. go stale after a while, and uh, there's, you know, matinee idols are mostly young, mm -mm. So after that, there's yo somebody younger that will come in, somebody even younger that will come in, and I felt kind of frustrated and boxed in. Mm -mm. So when I did Strangers in Paradise with you, after that film, I went to San Francisco after we finished filming, mm -hmm. and I met a girl there that I decided I wanted to, mm -hmm. and and this girl was saying, "Hey, <laughs> because I was I was airing to her, so I'm so frustrated, mm -hmm. and, you know. Although I was in Flor de Luna." Mm -hmm. At the time, because mm -hmm. in Flor de Luna, naman, I was only supposed to do two weeks. It became two years, you I know. Don't know guys. But that's the way naman our industry mm -hmm. is. Eh. So, mm -hmm. but I I knew that I was gonna destroy myself if I stayed here, mm -hmm. pa, because mm -hmm. I was starting to drink more. Mm -hmm. You start to experiment with things. Mm -hmm. And that's not who I am. So sabi ko, I told my mom, I said to mom, I need, I need to leave. And the man, my management team at the time was saying, why are you leaving? You're still on top, you know, this and that. Sabi ko, I, I'm so unhappy. You know, I want to do something else. And, and I'm not being given the opportunity. If you don't give me a chance, how will you know that I cannot do it? Diba? So, Ay, wala naman mga indie-indie movies nung araw, except The Bold. Ayoko naman mag-bold. So, so, I left. I left cold turkey. You know, and I was in the States for seven years. Do you have no regrets about that? You know, looking back, none. Kasi, I grew up. You know, I found my, I found my voice again. I started to become passionate about things. And... The, the weird thing is, when I went to the States, I kept getting um, offered, yung, yung naglalakad lang ako sa mall, kak, hey, you know, would you like to audition for this and that? So, sa loob-loob ko, wow, wala pa akong ginagawa. <laughs> Inaano na ako, kinukuha na ako, you know? Until you go to the audition and there's 300. <laughs> Sabi ko, oh my God. Sabi ko, this is not gonna work for me. So, anyway, I decided I, I, I need to do something different. Yeah. So and I what yeah, did you do? I, I became a, uh, I worked for the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco. I became a food and beverage cashier. And then I worked for the front desk. But uh, totally different from what we're doing here. When you cast parang eventually parang you worked for Universal Studio. I worked for Columbia Pictures. Columbia Pictures. Yeah, okay. for one year. But not as an actor, mm -hmm. huh? I was doing royalties for Reruns. Oh, you know, okay. I, I, I worked in the accounting department. Kaya nga doon ko nakita lahat Galing. ng mga ibang artista. We had movie passes for all the movies released by Galing Columbia naman. Pictures. So I, I, I was you saw that in side. the same world but outside, outside of it. Outside of it, right. On the sidelines. Correct. Would you say life in America was quite hard for you at the time? Well, it, it, it was definitely hard. Kasi you get spoiled being an artista. You know, hindi dila na intindihan kung sikat ka sa atin, bakit nandito ka? Right. Yes. And I'm glad. I'm glad. Alam mo, my a lot of my discipline today mm -hmm. comes from having lived there. Right. Kaya ako bumalik because the company I was working for moved to another state, oh. and I didn't want to move out of California. Right. So sabi ko, maybe it's time to go back. My heart, naman, was always in acting. Eh, mm -hmm. You know. But anyway, pagbalik ko dito, two days later, nag-ash fall mm -hmm. sa yung Mount Pinatubo Pinatubo. exploded. Mm -hmm. So sabi ko, my God, what a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yung, you know, yung siyempre, nandito ka na, I sold everything there. <laughs> Tapos pagdating mo dito, wala kang work. Kasi, mm -hmm. ash fall nga, yeah. you know. All of that teaches you, it teaches you humility. 
gives you a drive. Right. You know, and then more discipline. Mm -hmm. You know, it's you know, a motivating factor. Y yeah, no? you either become you. better or you stay bitter. Ay, ganda no. That's up to you. Yeah. Because eventually, after the Pinatubo incident, okay. really then what happened this. was this, and you're part of this. Okay. <laughs> um, eventually, I got married, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and my life changed because I married into the presidential family. Then after three years, we separated, unfortunately, but, but I was able to, uh, to start uh, business a little bit of business in real estate. One time, uh, galing ako sa gym sa Makati, nakita ko yung kotse ni Direk Mario J. Mm -hmm. You guys were taping a soap. That was the one with Albert, oh, um, oh. ikaw, ano si ito? Tonton, si... Habang kapiling Habang kapili ka. Yeah. Nakita ko yon. So, Pauwi naman ako, nag-drop by ako. Mm -hmm. When dinner time, Mario joined us for dinner. Mm -hmm. And sabi niya, gusto mo pa bang mag-artista? Sabi ko, uh, depends, direct. Mm -hmm. sabi, ko, sabi niya, kasi itong beat player namin, eh, nauutal. Ganon-ganon, di ba? So sabi niya, can you, can you, ano, okay lang ba sa'yo? You play the lawyer. Lawyer ni Snooki yan doon sa kano kasi kinulong ka, di ba? In the story. So sabi ko, sige, direct, I'll, I'll try. Oh, Today two two gig lang yan, sabi niya gano'n. Oh, sige, direct, why not? So the next day, nag-shoot na ako. Mm -hmm. After that, I don't know why, nag-click yung ano oh. natin. Kasi, oh. eh, lawyer mo ako eh, but they gave us a parang... May angle. A, a love angle, so to speak, mm -hmm. di ba? Nag-click yun. Oh, oh, so, kasali na ako until the end of that soap. Yeah. So that's how it started. Actually, when I was starting in the business, because you party with, you know, we party with all these guys, mm -hmm. nakilala ko si Albert, and I felt he and I were more the same mentally. Mm -hmm. Kasi disiplinado rin si Alberto, mm -hmm. di ba? And, Basta mas ano kami, mas, mas, mas click kami. Si William kasi kulit, si kulit yan eh. So, hindi ko siya masabayan, you know. And Albert, I, so we started to, you know, hang out a lot and we became really good buddies, you know, until... As a matter of fact, you hang out too much na... Na chismis na kami. To the point, hindi, hindi yun. Well, Parang that's much later. Ko, a little birdie told me much later na ikaw pala. No, Ang when I when I did <laughs> when I did Strangers in Paradise, <laughs> you guys were already uh, together na noon. And I remember this kasi mother wanted you to to have your first kissing scene with with me. Pero si <laughs> Albert noon, syempre, you know, yung I was I felt awkward kasi magshota kayo tapos best buddy ko siya. And yet, here I am, I'm going to be kissing you. Nah, dapat siya yung first kissing scene mo sa showbiz. But anyway, to make a long story short, natapos din natin yung movie noon. Anyway, much later, when I lived already in San Francisco, I got out of showbiz na. Albert and William moved also to the States. Nauna yata si William, then Albert came. And that, and uh, it was Albert who who uh, pulled me to the parties of Tita Amalia, mm -hmm. who had a big house in Hillsboro in San Francisco. So that's how they got, I guess that's how they got together, mm -hmm. Sid and Ibisel. Eventually, they eloped, and I helped them elope in, in my own little way. And that is the, that's how all that started. And I'm thankful naman that they found each other. Let's talk about Serio. Hmm. Your guapo, my, my, anak. My one and only son. How um, is your relationship with him? It's uh, much, much better. You know, um, you know, we say I love you to each other now, and we, you know, but he's already thirty-one, and he's an adult. He has a girlfriend also that he's he's with, and it's also a work in progress. Because mm -hmm. we we had so much time apart, and we're trying to. To make up, make up for that, and you know, it's a 
hit and miss thing sometimes, you know. So, but, you know, we, we are in each other's lives. And that's the important thing. How are you as a father? Well, I, you have to ask him for that. Because I, I did not have a chance to be a father to him. Um, but, but now that you're making up to him, well, you're making but up he, for you're, you're time, being an, a father to an adult. Iba naman, ano, iba diba? yan. They, you, you can only be a friend. I mean, Aww. you cannot tell them off, you know. I'm very proud of him. He, he does a lot of backup. Because he's a musician. Siya. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he does a lot of backup for Morissette and Gary V. And if you could turn back the time, what do you think you could have done better? Well, I, I, I wish I, I learned to, to fight for him much more. Because I am also a, I didn't grow up with a dad, so I had no concept of fatherhood. It was all you learn as you go. It's from the movies you watch, your friends, your my male friends who are fathers when they share their experiences and stories. That was my concept of fathering. We have flashed the movie here. Okay. I think Chana. That's Gabon. the one, Gaboon. That was my very first film. As you can see, ang gaganda ng mga artista ko oh, na kasama ko. Takot na takot nga ako dyan kay Tita Chato kasi <laughs> Chato was known oh, as a tiger. But you know, siya naman, pag natuwa siya sa'yo, she'll guide you. Oh. And she guided me. And Lizzie naman, I'm for, I forever love Lisa Lorena up to now. We stay in touch. Si Mike, unfortunately, lives in the States. Pero from what I heard, bulag na siya kasi nagkasakit siya. And of course, Tito Eddie is gone and Tita Chato is gone. Oh my God, Problem, Problem Child. Child. This was my my movie under uh, under Regal. See, si Anyan, direct Elwood, uh, Elwood no? She si feel beautiful, <laughs> Si El Maestro. Si El Maestro, and uh, this was my my film with Sherry. And uh, what what many people don't realize is during this movie, Problem Child talaga si Sherry, kasi away sila ng away ng nanay niya, ni Tita Rose, Mommy Rose. Because, you know, Shari was also starting to blossom, to blossom and, find, and become a, a big star. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, the, the grip of Mommy Rose, medyo kumakalas na si Shari. Shari and I became very, very good friends for so many years. Ano naman yung malalim na iniisip mo? Gusto mo malaman? Oh my God. Good morning, sunshine. With Vilma Santos and Junior. My only film with Vilma Santos, you know. Oh. I had a blast here. This was, you know, direct Ishmael. Ah, Ishmael to, uh, Leia Productions. How was it working with Ishmael? Oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> he, um, I, I know you're, you're, in heaven, uh, direct, but I uh -oh. niya ako ng sikip sikip na underwear John. I think he just wanted to see me, <laughs> what I look like, <laughs> you know, in, a, in a tight briefs. And I, I was so uncomfortable because that was not the image I wanted. But, you know, they kept telling me, hey, you know, you're a matinee idol, dapat masanay ka dyan. So I did, you know. Tapos, wala naman sa movie. You know, tinanggal naman. Ah, talaga naman, talaga naman. But we love you, Direk Yes. This was the the, the, the Laura Honor series to. Ani Batu Bakal, Bongga Kadai, and Rock and Roll. This was also another big hit. Uh, mm -hmm. in that trilogy, eh. 
And this is where naman I got very close to Mama Chichay. Tapos kasama ko dyan si Rolly Quison, Res Cortez. Yung, it was, it was a, a party of sorts. Kasi para bang traveling dance group oh, kami. Ang oh, galing ah. So ganon yan, ganon. And thanks to Nora Onon. I didn't want to do this film. Why? Sinabihan ako na para ka maging sikat na sikat at you can carry a film, you need to have a film na ikaw ang bida. Mm-hmm. But when I met with them, I did like the story. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get along with Direct Celso at Castillo. And I just felt really awkward, you know. But they insisted, no, sabi niya, you do it. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So I did, you know. And this movie flop, Cookie. I'm sorry to say, it, it was such a bomb. It really hurt my self-confidence, my self-image during that time. After that, I didn't want to... I had a few other offers to do. Yung, or, uh, ikaw lang yung solo, solo starters. Star. I didn't want to anymore. Oh, ito bang ating mga anak. This is my one and only movie with Albert. And uh, this was directed by Ishma, director Ishmael Bernal. This was an unexpected blessing. Kasi ang ganda ng role dyan. Tapos magkakasama kami. Iba-ibang kwento namin dyan. And the movie did really well for Regal. At oras na magkaroon ng crack, Corny? Hindi, hindi Corny. Sige, tuloy mo. Hindi Corny. Pero totoo naman. Oras na magkaroon ng crack ang pundasyon. Ano mangyayari sa mga anak? Bagsak! Di ba? Oo, oh, tama. Na, oh, with Dina Boradi. This movie naman, um, my first film with Boyet, Christopher De Leon. And I was very intimidated because Boy, it is such Aww. an excellent actor, di ba? I remember this was the time that Dina was starting to date uh, Vic at the time. It started here. Oh, but this was also a, a, a great movie. And, uh, it I was think directed by the Mel- late, great Mel Chonglo. Mel Chonglo, yes. You still love me. Please give me a chance. Sandali lang, Sandra. Pare, kung ayaw na sa'yo ng babae, sumipat ka na. Huwag kang makialam. Baka hindi mo alam eh. Asawa ko na siya. This is the movie where uh, Alfie Anido died. We were, the weird thing is, we shot this in Daranak Falls. Lorna was starting to date um, Rudy Fernandez during that time. And then, Alfie naman, I think, had broken up with Dina, but was starting to date um, Katrina mm-hmm. at the time. In the last week of shooting ng movie, where Alfie's character will be killed, kasi ganun yung kwento eh. Biglang, we just heard, patay na si Alfie. And most of my scenes in the Ranak Falls was with Alfie. So I was so afraid. Sabi ko talaga, eh, I had to continue shooting. Sabi ko, Pare, sabi ko, huwag ka naman magbulto, ha? Sabi ko, gano'n. <laughs> Kasi, you know, oh. if you've shot in the Rana Falls, it's very eerie, mm-hmm. di ba? But anyway, that was a big controversy to finish the movie. Ginawa nila ng mold yung mukha ni Alfie. Hmm. Yeah, nilagay sa dummy, sa parang manikin. Tapos, yun ang pinatay. Supposedly, ng mga vines. So, I was there shooting that while, you know, looking at this Manikin with Alfie's face. What an eerie thing. I tell you, sabi ko nga John! John! Ano ginawa mo sa kapatid ko? Alfie and I became very good friends during this movie. Napakabait ni Alfie. And you know, I mean, he, well, he's loss. very volatile. He is so good looking na kung minsan pag lumalabas kami, alam mo naman, sometimes may ingit sa kanya. Mm. Ano siya? Oh, mukhang babae, bakla yata yan. Gaganyan din siya. Iinit ang ulo niya. And I have to tell him, 
Alfi, wag mo nang patulang. Eh, ingit sa'yo, look at you. Sabi yung gano'n. You know, I think he felt trapped by his looks, wow. in a way. Oh, of my course. Gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Your first, uh, <laughs> ano, adult film. We did this in Hawaii with uh, Direct Lino. <laughs> And uh, this was a fun shoot. I mean, interesting and fun. Si Cookie nagkukulong ho sa hotel, sa banyo, ng dalawang oras, tatlong oras. I remember Mama, that. Mama, bakit ako nagkukulong? Ayaw ko. I think, nag, nag, nag-aawa yata kayo ni Pare. Hindi ka lumalabas ng banyo. I don't know. Yun ang, that's what I remember of that. I'll never let you go. Oh, This is my second film with Albert. Dito naman, Joey wanted me to go really, really sexy. Kasi I play like a gigolo who is the boy toy of Pilar Pilapil's character. And I was, I was so uncomfortable, you know. But you do what you gotta do. And it made, it made uh, money for uh, Regal also. Fortunately. Ito ang iti mo sa akin. I wonder about your teeth. Postizo ba? <laughs> Down, girls. Down? Oh, with, with uh, the superstar. Ito naman, when I... Nung bumalik ako, and I was trying to make a comeback, uh, I met with Nora. We were talking about, maybe we'll do a sequel to Ani Batumbakal. You know? eh, hindi ko alam na nag-uusap pala sila ni Direk Hill Portes, and they were casting this. And she asked me, oh, ano, pwede ka ba dun sa sa asawa ni Gina Alahar. Sabi ko, sure. So that's how we did that. And she won a lot of awards for this. Eh, gusto ko sana yung yun ang mga lumang tanit ni Momo eh. Sige. Sandali lang. Ito yung mararumi niya ang damit na huli niya dinala dito para palabahan sa inyo. Pick a name. Ate V, Vilma Santos. Ate V, the star for all seasons. Yes. I have always been a major fan. I'm a big fan of Nora Honor and a fan of Vilma Santos. I think our industry is better because we had both of them. I and I'm, I am forever a fan of uh, Ate V and I hope someday I'll be fortunate enough to work with her again. Alma Moreno. Ateneas. When I worked with her in Unang Yakap, directed by Eddie Rodriguez, she was at her most beautiful stage. I remember sila ni Rio, napakaganda nila nito. And they were the dueling sex kittens of, of uh, that era. Right. And I was very fortunate to have worked with both of them. The superstar. Ito, I, I, I have to say, and Ate Guy, maybe you're not aware, I'm forever grateful because of you, My career hit a trajectory because of the movies we made. Ani Batumbakal talagang put me on the Philippine showbiz map. And then we did seven movies together. Bukod sa the trilogy, Ani B, uh, Bongga Kaday, and Rock and Roll, I did other movies, Reina ng Pitong Gatang. May mga ginawa kami mga ibang movies Dami, na. Uh, and kasama ko siya ngayon sa Lilet, pero wala kami mga eksena. But she, she is one of the... Um, the most gifted actresses we have in our industry. Dina Bonnevie. Dina naman, I love working with Dina because she's such a fine actress. You know, yung, she makes me up, up my A-game, you know? And I used to make fun of Dina. I don't know if she'll remember this. Kasi di ba, during your movies, yung siya yung, yeah, yeah, ganun, ganun. And I used to make fun of that. We have the same man, or had the same manager which was Leo Dominguez that we love. And I will, I will happily work with Dina anytime. Sherry Hill, uh, another gifted actress. Sherry has always been one person that constantly reinvents herself. You know, every time I see her, she's doing something different. And I admire that about her. See, Joe Berry, I am so happy to be part of your soap, Joe Berry. I was amazed what a, What a wonderful actress she is. Magkano ba ang kailangan mo, Tony Lila? Kung kasama po yung gagastusin sa ospital, mga 
250,000 po. And I hope, Joe, that you get more projects para ma-showcase mo yung talent mo kasi napakagaling mong artista. Words to ponder from Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Amen. Thank you, Gus. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm a fan of this show, Direct. I hope that uh, this will remind people what a great actress <laughs> and now vlogger you are. <laughs> and I hope that we get to work together. I yeah. hope and pray for that, guys. Diba? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to thank you for the hair shop salon, Lucy Britannico for my haircut, Jill Stewart Eyewear. Thank you to Ace Nepomuceno Chang Omnident Dental Center, located siya at E. Rodriguez Senior Avenue, Cubao. And of course, I'd like to thank Mia Mason, Home Fragrances. Thank you to Miss Shirley and Mark, and also si Keina. Thank you so much. Lash Meetup for my Lashes? lash extension. Okay. And uh, Bernardo's Gold and Diamond, Leia for my jewelry. But today, I would like to give a special shout out and thank Tito Ledesma, the brother po of Ate Ku Ledesma, for my necklace and my and my uh, earrings, beautiful pieces. Nice. Thank you so much. And maraming salamat, Ma'am Angela Samora and Chef Jana Samora. Samasarap po na pagkain. Thank you very much. J Janina, thank you, Chef Janina. Ang sarap ng food. Yes. And uh, again, I'd like to invite you guys to Ark and Vine Cafe. It's a cafe haven amidst the hustle and bustle of Makati. And guys, sa mga nanonood sa inyo, if you like this, please share and subscribe. Sa mga hindi pa po nagsusubscribe at sa mga nagsubscribe na, to 200,000 plus na kami. Nice. More and more and, and growing. Maraming 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 salamat po sa inyo. You truly are all my friends. Thank you for helping me out. Press the notification bell para alam nyo kung kailan yung ating mga susunod na vlog. We're on every Fridays na, guys. Ha? And don't skip the ads. Alam nyo na. Thank you. <laughs> alam nyo na. <laughs> alam nyo na. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagsuporta sa ating channel. Ito po si Snooki Serna. And always remember... That whatever happens, rain or shine, friends po tayo. Bye! See you! <laughs>